Some weird national news for you now. A Utah couple says they're in love, and but that's pretty normal. Here's the weird part. They're also first cousins, which makes it illegal for them to marry in their home state of Utah. So the two tie the knot in Colorado instead, where it's legal. But they're also going to fight to change the law in their home state. Sarah Martin has that story. These lovebirds say it started with a crush. We were in second grade. Yeah, it was like second grade. I remember I stopped uh, her mother. I stopped her and I said, I'm going to marry Angie. And she said, no, I'm sorry, you can't, but you can be friends. Family vacations would bring them together, but social norms would draw them apart again. This is something I've always felt very, uh, like it wasn't, life wasn't fair. Like why did the person I want to be with the most and had the most attraction to the most natural feelings for, why did, why did you have to be my cousin? They reunited after 10 years this winter, both recently single, both ready to take the plunge. We're like, okay, this is crazy, but we're adults now, we're single now, we're just gonna go for it, and you know, who cares what our family thinks. They are crossing two big hurdles to get married. The most obvious is genetics. According to researchers at Columbia University, first cousins share 12.5% of their DNA. First cousins who have children face a four to 7% chance of their child having a genetic disorder, as opposed to a three to 4% chance for an average couple. The genetic mm -hmm. consequences, the biological con consequences are very small, it's more, you know, what people might think and say. The second major hurdle is the law. Here in Utah, it is illegal for first cousins to get married unless they are 65, 55, if they can prove they are infertile. So the two went to Colorado yesterday to tie the knot. As soon as we crossed over the, the state border, we're not married anymore. <laughs> the two are gathering signatures and hope to change the law here in Utah. No one I've ever been with will make me feel as perfect as she does. And her being my cousin and some of the responses is a small price to pay. I've always loved you, Angie. You know that.